is we've had about uh, 35 state police officers here, uh, approximately 10 men from the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department, the Conservation Department is here. We've utilized the state police helicopter. We've had the bloodhounds here from Malone, and uh, we're trying to secure the area as tight as possible at this present time. We have search details out, checking wood roads, etc., and we want to uh, say positively yes or no, if we can, that the suspect or his vehicle is in this present area before we're going to relieve any of the, of the roadblocks at present. I don't want to put you on the spot, but uh, this is strikingly similar to what happened a couple of weeks ago over in Weavertown. Well, it's somewhat similar in area, wooded areas, etc., and there's uh, campers involved, and uh, a slaying is somewhat similar, uh, the woods up here, and instructed them to uh, secure each other. time when they're right? he, knows he his way is around. an expert woodsman. They chased him into the woods, but you figure he could have gotten well, out easily. Well, uh, the Times Union reporter told me that uh, he uh, saw the picture of the kid that, you know, of him being wanted for, so being out on the highway and everything, I think he got a ride or somehow or he got just got out. Mightn't he uh, uh, get caught out there? They know what he was wearing. They know what he looks like. Uh, is there anything that would have made Bob do something like this? Any any idea? Any thoughts? Just something snapped? Yeah, I some think he did because since then I've been hearing the odds and ends that he is not the same as he was. And he was doing so well before, after he got out of prison. I thought he was doing excellent. I used to go see him. Telephone, Teresa. Yeah. Telephone. Telephone. He was doing quite well, and uh, I just don't know. I, something is something. This had to be this. That's that's my own thing. It had to be this. It's my opinion. I've, I've always liked Bob because Bob and I always got along so good. He and I used to stick up for each other, stand up for each other in school. When you were kids. When you were kids, even though he wasn't living at home, I used to see him in school. And, I knew he was my brother, and that was that. But I didn't know, you know, too much about him just to being brother and sister, you know. Any thoughts on uh, whether the state police could possibly get a man who knows the woods as well as Bob to catch him in there, if he is in there? It's on his situation right now. Well, very hard time for you. I know it is that. a very hard time for me at this time because I'm the mother of nine children. Grandmother is six, and they all are coming home asking me what really is wrong with their uncle and it's hard for me to tell because I well I haven't talked to Bob since last October much but it's kind of hard to know what made him actually want to do all these things I do know that this thing with my mother and she should have never had children and it's kind of hard I, it's kind of confusing for me at times 
I, I just wish I could see him and talk to him. I think I, it would be a great help. Are you hoping he'll turn himself in? Or? I do so very much, but I'm in great doubt that Bob will turn himself in. It would have to be something to spur the second moment before he gave it a second thought. Because, well, I guess we all do that in second thought. Sometimes we do change our minds. Yeah. You express yourself. Do you have any idea why uh, uh, Bob would do something like this or might do something like this? Hold on, just take us another minute, all right? All right? What's this uh, this period been like for you? I I know it's I'm sure it's been very difficult. Okay. The, uh, when, when did your son go in the Navy? Basically, what happened, Captain? Well, Tom, uh, from the reports that we've received, somewhere around 9.30 this morning, or thereabouts, there were four campers just down the road from here, uh, three males and one female, all youngsters in their early teens or uh, early 20s or late teens. Uh, this is Old Route 8B, just off Route 30 in the town of Wells in Hamilton County. And approximately this time, uh, an individual who was a, a white male came out of the woods, approached two of the campers, a female and a male, and said he didn't want to harm them. He just wanted to use some of their gasoline. And at about this time, the other two remaining campers who had been fishing returned, and uh, the suspect took the four individuals. back down to the road there. This morning we're starting out a, a uh, search detail here of 40 men on foot. They will start from the road that you're standing on now, just up uh, about a quarter, half a mile here to where the dogs went in earlier, and they will sweep on either side of Rob Creek and Fly Creek, continuing on up for a point approximately two miles. While they're traveling up here, we'll have what we call a floating center of men who will back and forth 
between the two search details on the creeks, using the creeks as their perimeters. And they will, when they reach a point when they can no longer practically flop over the middles, we will mark that point, continue on up the creek for a point two miles above, which is marked by a camp. Then the details, when hitting that point, will travel towards each other into the middle, come back down towards the road to the point that they marked, in the meantime covering the entire area, this two mile area, one uh, search uh, sweep. When they hit that point, then they'll move back across the creeks and come back down to the road, sweeping in approximately, uh, I would say about a three mile area, or a two and a half mile area. That's what's going on right now. All through the night they stood watch, troopers and sheriff's deputies, armed with rifles and shotguns. They're manning the dozen or so roadblocks here in the speculator area, searching for 38-year-old Robert Garrow. He's wanted in connection with the stabbing death Sunday of 18-year-old Philip Dembrowski of Schenectady. Wrong. One.
Split again when you uh, when you hit the point where you split off from one another, then you continue on up, then circle towards the middle, come back down to the point where you split, then go back across the. Father Yeski, are most of the people of this community frightened? Uh, I would say no. There are some, but I wouldn't say most of them are. I think most of the people maybe knew him and uh, perhaps know he doesn't 
intend any real harm to anyone in the community. Uh, but there are some who are definitely very frightened. Neighbors say he knows these woods around here like the back of his hand. Knowing his family, do you think that he'll try to stay out there to be close to his sister? Maybe, could be. Uh, I think his sister perhaps is the one who has been most uh, understanding towards him, and uh, that may be why he's trying to keep some contact there. Mm -hmm. How is his sister and his mother and father who live in this community holding up under this pressure? I don't know his parents very well, but his sister is a member of this parish and uh, has a very fine family. He had been up there a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I met the family, the children, some of the other children in the street that had seen him, and he'd been very uh, pleasant and uh, friendly uh, when he was here a couple of weeks ago. But his sister, of course, is naturally nervous and is very, very nervous and upset about what he might do and what she should do uh, herself, I'm sure. Uh, her heart is torn between uh, many things. Does she expect him to try to come back to the house? I don't know. Uh, he was supposed to come back last night, that's the rumor, uh, that he made some contact with her, which is possible. She had said that she, uh, uh, she was quite sure he would come back, and this was a week ago when I was talking to her. but. Um, whether he'll try to come back again, I don't know. Do you, do you know why he's closer to the sister here than he is to the rest of the family, seemingly? Uh, probably because she has been kind to him and maybe more understanding than some of the other family, uh, uh, members of the family. They perhaps maybe have judged him more than she did, uh, tried to pass judgment on his actions. I don't know. Um, not that I'm running the other family down uh, either, so I don't make any, any real judgment of the family on this. Mm -hmm. Well, I know his father um, can mind that. Uh, his is that his real mother or is it his stepmother? Okay, that's what I understood. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I was just... We talked with Father Uatsky.
Kitty was holding us up. So we went over the other side and got the speed. We see. You figure he didn't get too far then. You ringed off the area too quickly. That's right. We had it covered, what, within 10 minutes? 10 minutes. 10 minutes we had. 10 minutes. What? So that's all we know about it.